where I live, there's a big population of little boys with big trucks. Okay. You wanna see? You wanna see what I've got so far? Look at that. I love it. I love it, love it. <gasps> By the way, Bernadette's blanket turned out nice. It's like, it's super squishy. Like it's, if I had a cat, my cat would like it. But I don't have a cat, so I like it. I kind of want to hone in on a direction for this channel and one of the things that I want to do is knit with you. I'm going to be knitting on camera. You can see the process. And then what I want to do is I am going to, without infringing on any copyright laws, with full respect for the designers of these patterns, um, go over some of the like technical things and kind of keep it in one place because sometimes you're like, oh, okay, well, I need to do one particular type of cast on, but I also need to know how to do this other like particular stitch and they're not in the same place. So what I want to do is make it all cohesive and there will be a final review. I will always tell you the name of the pattern, I will always tell you the name of the designer, and I will always tell you where I get it, um, which will most likely be Ravelry. Sign up because your account is free. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit a like button if you like what we're doing here because that's always helpful. Give me some feedback because that's even more helpful. And um, here we go. Past the hard part. This, it hurt. I literally, I was so excited to start it that the first night I got to about here and I was like, yeah, good for me, you go girl. But working the rows with the three colors, I was like, oh, ow. And the whole next day, I sent a gift to my friend. I'm almost done with the color work and then we'll divide off for the sleeves and do the body. It should be a pretty quick process after that. showing you. So I do use both hands when I knit color work. Huh. I'll probably uh, post on my Instagram, so if you don't follow me there, definitely go follow that. I'll put a link in the description below, and if I spell it wrong again on screen, go look there, because I'll have it right in the description box. Woohoo! Not looking too shabby. Do you guys want links to the yarn as well? That's not a terrible idea. I have a friend who gifts a lot of yarn to me. She is, she's my best friend. Is actually, her sweater matches mine, uh, only her gray is darker than mine. So we're, we're really cute that way. We have our own little mini knit alongs. But can we gush for a second? Can we just gush? So let me actually tell you. Uh, she picked out her gray and she actually emailed the lady at Tannis Fibers. These colored yarns are from Tannis Fibers. She's like, hey, you know, I wanna, I'm doing this sweater. Uh, what colors would you recommend? And she emailed back. She's like, oh, definitely these three colors with a, with a gray. And she's like, perfect. So she picked a dark gray and I picked a light gray and I didn't know it was Tannis Fibers, so my light gray is Malabrigo. But her husband is the one who actually like put them in order and this is worked top down. So here's gonna be the top. So he was like, it needs to be the light blue and then the green and then the dark blue. And we were like, Okay, because he is a consultant and in like marketing and that sounds good to me. <laughs> so that's what we did. Start on um, pearl side row of the color work. Now I'll just mention it that I'm going to go across with, with one color, which in this case is the main color because it's the first color stitch on my needle. I'll work across in the gray first. 
and then I'll come back and because I'm on circular needles I can do that and then I will work the great the uh, dark blue yarn across in the purl so you would just knit one or purl one slip one the whole way across and it's the exact same thing as stranding but there's less hair pulling out it's particularly helpful when you have the three colors going at the same time another thought about my channel and what I want to do here I kind of want to use it as a way to leverage new designers I think you know once I have a following here I hope that I can help other this like other creative people be discovered and be successful because uh, you'll hear every successful person say it there's room for everybody and I firmly believe that and that's what I want to help facilitate and let me know if there's a pattern that you want to knit that you're like ah oh, just think maybe it's a little bit too advanced for me I'll knit it with you or I'll knit it first and we'll do this thing and then at the end of it I'll give you the review and the, and the yeah the tutorials sound good just slipped one, purled that one, slipped the other gray stitch, and I'll just keep working across. It's gonna die, I gotta go. Happy Thursday, everybody. Um, I'm really excited. I did a little knitting last night and I'm at the point now where I get to separate for the sleeve, so I'm really excited. I'm gonna go ahead and get into that. Uh, I literally this morning knitted over to the point where I get to start putting my stitches on my scrap yarn, so. I have this super cute little robots and things. My mom got me this when I was like, I don't know, nine years old and it's held a multitude of different things, but mostly my knitting stuff, like things that make sense, like this giant tapestry needle and this little stitch holder um, and some other markers. And for everyone who needs to keep this, a bunch of ends. I don't have the smaller type of string needle that I want. There it is. For this next part, there's a lot of counting the stitches that are on my needle currently and then counting as I go to pull the stitches onto the waist yarn that are gonna be for the sleeve and then more counting. So I cut a bunch out. a toy for my dog. The toy she just suddenly had to have was literally at the very back of the couch. No way she could have seen it from where she was laying or what she was doing. And it's this. Hey, tiny pink pig. Go. My dog hates Dutch. Oh, wow. She actually got it. Good job. She'll get a ball and she'll immediately shove it back under the couch.
All right, so yes, I am new to this. Sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. And when I went to save my video that I had spent all day editing, literally like six hours of my day, um, I had deleted things to make room. And when I deleted things, I deleted items that were part of this video, which means that I had to completely redo the whole thing. It wasn't even, it wouldn't even save. There was no saving it at all. And so um, this is what I have for the last <laughs> day of the week as far as footage goes um kind of sorry not sorry it's the boob cam which is like i think it's a really good angle personally um but i just wanted to show you guys how i knit and kind of you know anyone who wants to knit and kind of just wants to watch someone knit it's a good view it's a fun video for that so here this is, and then also you might notice if you have been knitting for any length of time that I am knitting into the um, back leg of the loop, which you might be like, why are you doing that? And it's just because of how I do my purl row, which I will show you next actually. And I, yeah, obviously a bummer that those files got deleted, but not defeating. You know, here's the video that I made all the way to the end. It's just not all the same footage, but still pretty good. Um, still informative, I think. But if you made it this far, I appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys all have a wonderful week. Stay tuned for that pearl side row, just so you can see what I'm talking about. I explained that one as well. Um, and at the very, very, very end, I have a little bit of a treat, if you will. So have a good week. side because I know if I just have the clip of my knit side it's gonna raise some eyebrows because I do knit into the back loop of the stitch so you've got the front loop and the back loop as it sits on your needle but this is why when I purl my stitches are oriented correctly on my needle so I'm still gonna purl into the front loop but I pull my yarn up I twist it around the needle the opposite way because this is a lot easier for me in the continental style before when i was doing it quote unquote correctly i held my yarn like this and i just didn't like it i felt like my tension was a lot tighter because i was pinching it and so when i found this other way where i'm still holding the yarn exactly how i was on the knit side, my tension is a lot more consistent. I can knit a little bit quicker, which is nice, but not necessary. And then all I have to remember is when I'm knitting to knit into the wrong side of the loop, which is technically correct. Um, correct. Um, but yeah, it's just faster. This is also a great way to do one by one or two by two ribbing because you don't have to mess around with changing how the yarn sits on your finger. Um, and you just, I just really like it. I prefer kind of to knit backwards. I think the only time I ever purl correctly is if I'm working on some sort of textured pattern with purl. Like, like if I've got cables, I definitely hold everything in my right hand for cables because I need a lot more control that my left hand can't offer. Left hand is stable and consistent, yes, but it's not, it doesn't have the coordination of a right handed person. But I just wanted to add that little tidbit that I, I do know that my knit probably looked wrong. Um, but if you looked at my stitches, you can see they're not twisted. They, they lay perfectly. So I just wanted to include that. Didn't want to leave anybody with unanswered questions. Don't you made it to the end. Thanks again. Here's your treat.